Hey guys, Silex here with another banger. Today we'll be taking a look at Ghost Runner, a fun action slash crash with future weeks. With diving into this weird, wacky world of another future dystopia. Hey guys, editor Silex here. Um, big issue. I know a lot of y'all were expecting Metal Gear Rising, but unfortunately, the PS3 I had bought decided. To so I will not be able to play my copy of Metal Gear Rising. I know it's on Steam, but my doo doo butter PC can't handle a PS3 game. As we hop into this great world of ghost and running, we get our arm cut off by Into the Spiderworth Dot Ox. We can finally play the game. Now going over basic combat, this game is fast and wants you to move fast. Now the button controls are weird such as jump being on R1 and so after dying because gravity an embarrassing amount of times, we can get the game going. This is all about running, walks, dashing through everything. We only have one life bar so if you get shot once, you're dead. Unlike Stormtrooper, these guys can aim and aim they will sniping your head right off now you could say this game is like the darks what was i saying that eh, must be the schizophrenia now actually listening to our inner thoughts we find mark zuckerberg or the architect who is in jail for unknown crimes well actually he's the creator of this very tower and trying to help you takes us to the metaverse to see if we can get our old power back and explains the past with the tower and all that but who cares about lore i'm here to hack and slash now, over the course of the game, completing these metaverse challenges, you get more abilities to make this game easier, like slowing down time, ability to jump curb, the literal Zoro moves. Now, next, we're not just killing anyone; we're slicing regular gunners, machine gunners, doomsters, crash these idiots with a shield. Amazon delivery droids, Star Wars death bots, weeaboos. Our goal is to climb to the top while the voice in our head, Mark, tries to tell us to disregard the small groups to save the masses. It makes you question if you're really on the right side of things. If the architect really wants to help people or just replace the key master and become the new head of- What was I saying? We eventually make half- Way after countless metaverse dies, we stop in our tracks by Tom, a literal death machine. We have to kill Tom while voiding until you figure out cheese with skips. Coming up our way, we make it to Dharma City, where actual people are. Yeah, but they are still under some bullshit. But getting through there, we run into a hell. A robot android made to replace us. We easily kill them by parrying all their moves because of just how predictable this robot is. And move into the science lab and find out, yeah, Mara is a bad guy. And she's been creating mindless human robots and calling it saving humanity. Like, look at this and tell me this is saving humanity. An actual cool robot at some point you can teleport and multiply. Why didn't you make everyone like this? Not getting through these probing camps, we make our way to Mara. She spouts more of what I was saying about Mark Zuckerberg not being the most friendly guy. And time for the final boss. I mean, that was quick. This game is like three hours long. The final boss isn't really that difficult. If as a kid you remember having to play the game where you jump over jump ropes and the floor is lava, that's pretty much it. You get this genius level IQ to electrocute yourself and beat the game. But, Mindless. Oh wait. We ain't done yet. The architect, our Adam, wants the whole tower and our body to himself. It's not like I didn't predict that three minutes ago. This final level is more of a platforming challenge based off what we played for the majority of the game. Even though 
because it's made by Mark Zuckerberg, it's pretty poorly made and easily hacked. We kill our creator and the end. Now, in all serious, at the end, Ghost Runner is a pretty good game. I will say that I had some gripes with it. It felt janky and unfair at some points. But other than that, it's a great 7-hour adventure. Sorry I couldn't do Metal Gear. Probably in two videos, it will be done as DNF Duel comes out this week. So I will be reviewing that instead. This was a quick review because Ghost Runner isn't that long of a game. I probably beat it over the weekend just because I needed to get something done and out because Metal Gear obviously wasn't working. And again, thanks for watching and I am out.